Tonight, a state of emergency has been declared over that massive fire that destroyed the historic Hotel Marysville. Your reporter covering Sutter County, Kayla Muller, is live for us with the next steps for that longtime landmark. Kayla. Yeah, hi guys. Uh, the yeah, they held a press conference earlier today to discuss what to do with the building and the next steps after the fire. And according to the fire chief, this building has been vacant since 1986. The building itself being built in 1926. So with that, there haven't exactly been too many upgrades to the fire suppression system. For example, there were no active fire sprinklers or alarms at the time of the fire, allowing it to get out of hand and ahead of the fire department. Hotel Marysville is at risk of collapsing with little to no warning. We, City Council of City Marysville, have formally declared an emergency, thereby opening potential involvement by the governor's office of emergency services. The mayor and other city leaders held a press conference Friday to talk about next steps surrounding traffic, detours and business closures. The city has hired a demolition company to come out and assess the building Monday, something that hasn't been able to be done to the full extent due to how unsafe the structure is. Yeah, I'm glad that the community is taking caution and that we have to reroute because I'm afraid that it might collapse. And it might which is something the city is trying to get ahead of. But they're still in negotiations with the building's ownership over the fate of the building and how to move forward. It appears that the insurance coverage on the building was minimal. I reached out to a representative for the building's ownership. He says it's technically owned by Feather River Plaza, but Urban Smart Growth is also involved. The city wants us to snap a finger, write a check and demolish the building in the morning. And I think that that's unreal unrealistic. The hotel's ownership is calling the city's timeline impractical, considering nobody has been able to get inside to do the full assessment. Requires further study and investigation is what it does. We've had an initial report from a drone that says the building is unsafe. We need to get further studies, which will take six to eight weeks. We're still negotiating with them and, and discussing it with them. Um, the disagreement is who is responsible and when or for, for the remediation and how quickly can that be done. The building's ownership tells me that before the fire happened, they planned to actually sell the property to Habitat for Humanity, but now they've offered to donate the building to the city of Marysville so they can do with it as they see fit, including demolishing it. But the city says that it's the responsibility of the property owner. Uh, as for the road closures, they say that it could be weeks, if not longer, until things start to get back to normal around here.